Hey boys and girls, uh, got out to this area and been digging. This is my first good target I've come, I've found and it's, it's going to be a bucket lister for me. I cannot believe this. It was deep but it was ringing up like 22 on the equinox and I'm so tickled with this. Look here, my very first breastplate. Isn't that something? Look at it. Can you see it? I know you can. Rub it on the pants some more. There it is. First ever. Man! Isn't that something else? Wow! Let's see what else we find. That's what it is. No doubt about it. I got me a nice eagle. Uh, all right. Continue on, bucket lister. Just got, got knocked off. Yeah. Let's do some more. Come on, let's go. All right, hit another bullet signal. And it was just a real scratchy, but it, it was 17, 18. Again, and as you can see, it was pretty deep. Uh, well, about six inches, maybe like that. Big drop 69. You can't get no sweeter than that now. Yes, yeah, dropped. Perfect. 69, baby. That's a good find. I like digging these 69s all day long. Well, hopefully I can show you some more. All right, let's get back to it. 69 caliber mini ball. Sweet. Oh, you're going to try a dig, try a dig this time. Uh, of course, you know, usually what happens whenever you try one, but... That could be a bullet now. Alright, I'm going to dig it up and I'll turn it back on. Let's see what happens when you try to do live dig as a piece of wire. Might have been something one time, but oh well. I'll check the hole once I cover it back up. Okay, probably five minutes from that last button, I hit another one. This one had got the stem, stem's broken off of it. And I can't really tell if it's got anything on it until we get them cleaned up. But that might have something on it. Okay. All right, hit something else. It was a real thing. Crazy looking number, but anyway, here, first flat button today. Nothing on it, just flat button. Cool. Well, I was heading out. Of course, always detect. As I'm going out, and I still got my little six inch on there, and I hit this little target. I really thought it was going to be a piece of camp lead. Doggone, it's not another little cuff button. That's three cuff buttons today. Man, turned out to be another good one. Hope you can make a little bit of detail out on it. I don't know if you can or not. It's, the camera don't do it justice. Maybe there you go. See it there for a second. So you can see a little bit better than I can. If it'll focus. Anyway, huh, tickled to death. On my way out. Probably the last uh, last target to come to. But who knows? Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have been already, subscribe to uh, Jimmy Crossbones. I like to do relic hunting, colonial sites. And of course, Spanish treasure, rings and things and cobs and coins. All right, appreciate you watching. Okay, put the little six inch coil on there and going up and down this real steep, uh, steep bank. Didn't have any trouble pulling one out though. It's uh, definitely shot in the bank.
like some of them other ones. But it's definitely a, a three-ringer. All right, I think I could probably pull a couple more bullets out of this bank. One hunt about another couple hours today. All right, another Civil War bullet. Six-inch six coil with the Equinox. I lowered the sensitivity down to 22. All right, try to show you some more. Well, I got uh, another uh, rare find. That button surprised me, but uh, got this hoe right here. Got a squeaky, squeaky sound out of it. It's not four or five inches deep at the most. There, got spencer casing. Oh, hole intact. Not even, yeah, got a little bent, a little to it. But that's what it is. Man, that's another good Civil War relic. Glad to have that too. Alright, wonder what else we're going to find. Hope I didn't jinx myself. Civil War Spencer casing. Alright, let's see what else. 